Hello everyone, welcome to Alibaba Cloud Webinar. Today, we are going to talk about new retail. This is Yang Kan from Alibaba Cloud, and I will be your presenter. If you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to type them into the text box on your screen, and I will try to answer them in the Q&A session after the presentation. A recorded version of the webinar will be available later. If you have any comments or would like to discuss further, you are more than welcome to email us to the address shown on the screen. Okay, let's first look at what has happened in the retail industry. During the industry revolution, merchandise started to be mass produced and more people began to live in large cities. Department stores are invented to cater for the needs of exchanging merchandise. In the earliest 20th century, the economy crisis made consumers look for more affordable products. Supermarkets provided an avenue for consumers to shop for these products. Starting from the 50s, economy started to recover after the World War II. The pace of life increased, and more people were looking for a higher quality of life. Information technology led to the rise of retail stores, such as convenience shops, specialty uh, shops, shopping centers, and many more. In the late 90s, the emergence of e-commerce disrupted the whole industry. Shopping at home or on the mobile has become the norm. Now, consumers enjoy a personalized service, rapid delivery, and a vast choice of products. In the past two decades, online retail has been growing very fast. There are many forms of e-commerce has been invented, such as B2C, C2C, Group Buy, and many more. The Alibaba Group is a great example. There are Alibaba.com to do the B2B businesses, there are Timo.com to do the B2C businesses, and there are Taobao.com to do C2C businesses. In the year of 2017, the online shopping users in China has reached to 540 million people. As we can notice that almost everyone in China are ordering their products online, paid by Alipay, and waiting for the product delivery to the home. However, the growth rate of the traffic has been slowing down in the last three years. Besides, the online marketing are become a lot more expensive. The cost per acquisition has risen from 3 RMB to more than 200 RMBs. It adds a significant cost to do online businesses, and acquiring more traffic is not as easy as before. So it is foreseeable that in the next 10 decades, the growth rate of e-commerce will be slowing down further, and it will hit, it will hit to a bottleneck. Although online shopping has been widely adopted in the world, and there are many advantages. But there are still limitations in terms of customer experience. For example, customers are not able to have a direct interaction with the physical product. They cannot touch the product. They cannot test the functionalities. They cannot try the clothes on or try the shoes on. Uh, besides that, for the fresh food, which normally have a short expir expiration time, so consumers need to buy it and take it home immediately from the physical store and then consume within a day or two. This is something that the delivery time of online shopping cannot afford. Now, let's look at offline retail. As we know, it gives customers an experience of experiencing the products directly and then shopping in the shopping malls and take them um, to home immediately, but there is still a limited space in the store. 
the store operators can only put limited stocks in terms of categories, SKUs, and quantities. And for each of the SKU, the store operator has to put uh, some kind of stock in the inventory of every shop. As a result, operation cost becomes a concern, and it keeps increasing every year. Taking convenience store in China as an example, in 2016, in average, the rental cost increased by 7%, labor cost increased by 6.5%. These numbers are still increasing and they are significantly impacting the bottom line. Besides, if the store operators want to give the customers more choice of product ranges, by just expanding store space may not be a cost-effective option anymore. Now, instead of putting more SKUs in the store, many retailers are considering a selected product ranges to fit for the customer's preference. However, there are still very limited data collected or utilized to analyze the customer, know the customer better, and find the underlying customer characteristics behaviors, and purchasing habits. Now, let's look at what new retail is. So in our definition, new retail is a consumer-centric and data-driven retail. It is aiming to provide consumers an end-to-end -end experience from shopping to own the products at the right time, at the right place. To enable this, big data becomes the driver of the business model. It helps to understand consumer's profile, getting the insights from the customer, identify their preference and shopping behaviors. And that will be a driver for marketing, for supply chain, manufacturing, and all the way to R&D of the products. Besides that, from the operational point of view, by integrating online and offline retail, consumers could enjoy the benefits from both of them. The convenience of viewing all the products online, reading the reviews from others, and experiencing the physical products offline, and have that delivered to your home. In the retail, data plays a very important role. It brings online and offline together, and it also makes AI smarter. There are three key elements in new retail, customer, product, and channel. New retail analyzes the interactions between the three elements, integrating them by big data, and give customers a brand new experience. Let's first look at customer. With the new technology, such as online shopping apps, online membership apps, digital payments, and smart logistics, a mass amount of data from every aspect of retail businesses become available. It creates an opportunity for retailers to provide a personalized service, such as product recommendations, guess what you like, find out the trendy products, by doing so, the conversion rates of online and offline marketing, uh, marketing campaigns will be increased sig significantly. For the products, the manufacturers will be able to utilize big data to know the accurate market segments, find out the preferred product design, and reach out to the potential customers in a more effective way. The new technology such as artificial intelligence and augmented reality let customers to have more ways of experiencing the products and services. With the new logistics technologies, the regional distribution center and local warehouses will be greatly integrated and optimized. The customers will have the visibility of the products from manufacturing, supply chain, and delivery. Besides, Customer will have more ways to, ex to access and experiencing the products anytime, anywhere with the benefits of both online and offline retail. 
This picture shows the Alibaba retail cloud ecosystem. As you can see, in the inner circle, it is a foundation of Alibaba retail e-commerce businesses. And then in the outer circle, it indicates many additional services such as offline stores, the food delivery, and other various services. So I will give you a few examples on how new retail works in the reality. So Timo integrates online businesses and offline stores for digital marketing to help super brands to deliver their messages to the right audience and create more product awareness. It leverages big data, cloud computing, and more than in more than a hundred thousand international brands. In time was a traditional shopping center. After the online and offline integration, customer now enjoys the all-channel shopping experience. Digital store transformation has been done by installing digital shopping terminals and AR VR fitting rooms. And thirdly, Herma is a four-in-one retail, including supermarkets, restaurants, stores, and e-commerce. It creates new traffic entrances, such as experiencing center and a home delivery in 30 minutes within three kilometers. To enable the new retail business, online shopping platform, e-payment application, and logistics platform are essential. Take Alibaba Group as an example. Taobao is our CTC online platform. It is the world's largest shopping application, which handles more than 580 million monthly active users. Alipay is the world's largest e-payment application. It handles more than 300 million monthly active users. While Cainyao is the world's largest logistics platform, which handles more than 800 million items per day. So with such, vo such a volume of transactions, cloud computing is the foundation to provide the computing power, storage, and various services. And Alibaba Cloud is supporting the whole Alibaba's new retail ecosystem with a 24 by seven availability and process petabytes of information every day. Besides the monthly active users, the large transaction volumes every day Shopping fest festival and major marketing campaigns create a real challenge to the underlying IT infrastructure. In 2017 Double11 event, there are 25.3 million US dollar transactions happened within the 24 hours. Alibaba Cloud handled 325,000 orders per second at the peak. There are in total 812 million transactions were processed by Alibaba Cloud. If you want to know how Alibaba Cloud did this and help retailers to understand their customer profiles and shopping behaviors, please stay tuned for the next webinar, which we will go in depth on the new retail technologies. So with the explanation of the above uh, new retail uh, examples and our vision of new retail, basically Alibaba Cloud is the key foundation to help the retail enterprises, retail uh, businesses to tra transform them into the both online and offline integration and then help them to adapt the era of the new retail. So in the next, next few episodes, we're going to talk about a few uh, key points about how. So first of all, Alibaba Cloud provides a retail computing foundation um, as well as payment uh, infrastructure, logistics infrastructure um, to enable uh, the traditional retail uh, businesses to establish their online capability and then help the online businesses to establish their offline capability. And then the, after that, the big data capability from Alibaba Cloud helps the businesses to collect data from online to offline. So online, basically from the online uh, e-business websites, 
online membership websites. Uh, and the offline, basically, they're from the malls, the shops, from markets, and then basically all the channels. So that is the key point to integrate online and offline by sharing the data between them. Um, and then the next step, Alibaba Cloud helps the client, helps the uh, retail business is to provide an analytics platform um, to turn the big data into key assets, including customer profiles, customer behaviors, so that the business will know customer better and then provide a personalized experience in shopping and then create a unique marketing strategy to improve the conversion rates um, from viewing the products into uh, making, a, making a purchase. Uh, aside from that, uh, there is a full suite of AI capabilities from Alibaba Cloud to help um, your retail stores to be smarter and then give customers a brand new digital experience. So a few of the example, including our product uh, cloud product shelf, Basically, you view all the products, all the SKUs um, in cloud, in a big screen in the store, so that you don't have to uh, always go to, always find the products or inventory in the physical shop. And then the shop doesn't have to, inc uh, have to keep so much of the uh, inventory and reduce the inventory cost. And then we have a Timo Magic Mirror, basically give, uh, the, give people a really a magic experience of Trying the trying clothes, trying the shoes, trying the makeup, just within the mirror, and then without without uh, really put it, without putting on the makeups and then clothes on. Um, we have image search. Basically, we take a picture of the products uh, we are interested in, and then we can search from the vast information from the uh, database of products. And then we have Timo Genie, which is the um, chat robot could interact with, with you by voice so that you can make a comment um, by voice and then the Timo Genie will help you um, from your questions. So we were going to talk into more details about um, how we have done that and then what are the real, exper what are the real examples um, of making that happen. All right, so um, this now is a Q&A uh, session. Uh, we are receiving a couple of uh, uh, questions from uh, internet. So first one is, what are some concrete examples of retail solutions we see in China and not in the West? And what can we learn? So um, there are many of them. So um, the first one I would like to share is that basically uh, the whole Alibaba platform uh, powered by Alibaba Cloud, it is really a different uh, way of doing businesses compared to the West. So uh, let's compare to Amazon. Uh, Alibaba, Alibaba uh, businesses is really building a platform that enables retail businesses. So we are not taking over the retail businesses, but we are enabling them to do better in the businesses. For example, they can use Alibaba's um, platform to enable their online businesses. They can use Alibaba platform to do the e-payment, to do uh, optimized logistics, um, as well as having, a, uh, having many uh, AI technologies using Alibaba platform. Um, this is um, a difference between, the, between what, we, what happens in China and in the West. Um, so the goal is to help um, all type of retail businesses to run better and then adopt new retail technology, new retail concept in an easy way and then help them to get a jump start. Uh, another more specific example is probably, let's take a Herma X example. So Herma example, Herma is basically a, a fresh fruit store. So it, it disrupts all the traditional uh, fresh food businesses by building a four in one um, uh, retail uh, experience. So it help, uh, it's, it sells a fresh uh, food, for example, seafood, um, and then the people make a payment, uh, e-payment from, uh, from the store without go to the cash counter. And then the, the food will be delivered within, um, will be delivered to your home for free if your home is 
within three kilometers of the store. So you save the hassle of carrying the uh, fresh food, carrying the seafood from the store back to your home. And then it, it releases your hand so that you can continue shopping in other uh, retail malls um, without carrying all these products. And then when you get home, the food is delivered and then you can also request to be cooked so that you can just enjoy that um, once you get home after um, some shopping. Um, and then the, you can also choose to uh, just enjoy the food in the store and then the store gives you a fantastic exp um, environment to enjoy the store as well. And there are many other food choices in the store so you can have a uh, comprehensive um, uh, lunch or dinner experience over there. And then the, uh, when you buy food, you probably want to buy certain uh, other groceries. So Herma also give you the option to buy other groceries in the store and then uh, following the same way, you don't have to carry that home. Uh, you make a payment on the spot um, from your handphone and then the, the, all the products will, de will be delivered to your home uh, within 30 minutes. So that really creates a, um, a phenomenon in China that uh, many of the uh, businesses or many of the property developers, they strive to build their residential properties within three kilometers of Hema because people live within three kilometers of the Hema store will enjoy a brand new new retail uh, experiment, uh, experience. So um, I hope that answers the question. Um, the next question I receive is that retail transformation is not a single effort, but calling for a series of initiatives that combine to scale the change. What do you think is the most critical step to take for a traditional retailer in order to embark on the route to new retail you mentioned? Right, excellent question. So uh, basically, how do we get started? Because it, new retail sounds like, a, sounds like a complicated thing, covers every aspect of the retail. So um, essentially, um, the first thing is to give some thoughts about the key elements of new retail. So key elements of new retail is three things, like what we discussed. Um, people, product, and channel. So um, the idea is that we traditionally, we have a model of starting from the product, we make the product, and then we think about the channel, how to sell it, and then we push this product to the customers. So in new retail, we have to think in a reverse way. So we think about people first, and then we think about channels, and then we think about product. So it's essentially a customer-centric, customer-driven um, business model. So once we start to think that, uh, think from that aspect, um, it's, um, it is a good start. And the next thing is that, how do you, um, how do you establish, how do you leverage IT capability to enable the business, um, basically by setting up or leverage online platforms or start building your own uh, IT capability, on, uh, internet capability to enable your online and offline integration. So basically making your products online and then the um, interact with your customers online and then the bring the customers from online back to offline. So that's the next thing to do. And then how do you do that in more efficient way is to leverage data. So once we, we are putting things on, online, then you will know your customer better by data systematically. And then after you have leveraged that, uh, after you have leveraged uh, the big data, then um, you're able to give customers a unique or personalized experience. Um, in the in in the model uh, in the in the retail business model, so that with that uh, it addresses the customer, and then um, think about products. So um, 
from the customer data, you have some. Uh, you probably will have some feeling, or you probably have some ideas about what is a popular product, or what is the uh, how to manage the product, and then the you can adopt uh, big data analytics to um, analyze them and then optimize them by doing sales forecasting, by optimize your inventory and then optimize your uh, supply chain, and then the op optimize your SKU assortment. Um, so that um, so that uh, you can ensure your your product turnover rate is controllable. Um, and then the next thing is channel. So channel means both online and offline. So online is the mobile app or mobile retail platforms. Uh, offline is uh, the stores or the shopping malls. So transforming that by you can transform the offline uh, channels by turning that into into a digital store by adopting AI products. For example, uh, face recognition, by having cloud product shelf, by having uh, Timo Genie, by image search, all these technologies. So to, um, to give customers a digital experience. And then so that it's naturally integrated with online. And then when we back to online, we can do analytics um, on the uh, online platform uh, design um, and then also do analytics to to have an idea about how people are behaving on the website so that uh, you can keep renovating the websites or renovate your apps uh, with uh, with the with the, uh, with a reference of data so um, that is essentially um, answering the that is essentially the answer of the question, but the um, most critical step, to summarize it, the most critical step is to think about uh, customer, product, and channel. And then the uh, instead of thinking, driving from the product, you think from the customer. And so that is uh, the most critical step. And then from there, you can naturally, you will think along the rest of the, st the steps. Um, all right, there is another question popping uh, that uh, interesting to hear about China. How do foreign companies compare? So um, this is an mm, interesting question. Um, so uh, in China, new retail is um, doing very well. Uh, and then the one of the reason is that there is a huge customer base in China, and then the all the solutions are uh, I would say stress tested by the population uh, or customer base of China, and then the foreign companies uh, that depends. So uh, there are many foreign companies uh, they are doing well. They are adopting online offline integration, um, and then the but um, it is more in a um, siloed way. So, for example, uh, companies are uh, developing their capabilities by themselves. So, different retail companies have a different way of doing things. And then, the compared to China, um, Alibaba is a leader of new retail, and then it is enabling all the retail businesses. So, it is doing a collective, in using a collective intelligence to develop a create ecosystem. And then the um, create a whole suite of uh, new retail solution, and then share with the new new retail businesses, retail businesses to help them transform. And then in the in the foreign countries, uh, in the foreign companies, they are basically doing them doing it by themselves. So there are many uh, good ideas, but um, they can be the solution can be more more comprehensive uh, from our point of view. And then, of course, uh, the foreign companies are very welcome to um, to work with Alibaba, and then we can share with you how to make the new retail solution in a comprehensive way. Okay. Um, and another question: um, Has any retailers, other than Alibaba, deployed retail cloud so far? Um, can you give an example? 
So um, Alibaba is a group uh, that uh, not only consists of e-commerce businesses, and the Alibaba uh, is also working with its own ecosystem. So um, basically, for example, in Thai Mall, uh, for example, um, Herma, for ex- uh, and many other retailers in China, that's within Alibaba ecosystem. And then all of them are uh, adopting the the retail, um, uh, are adopting retail businesses, um, uh, from the from from Alibaba Group, um, and then the other companies uh, over here I may not be able to mention the names, um, but we are uh, working with many customers overseas. For example, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, um, and then the, there are many. Um, other countries to evaluate um, how their businesses are doing, um, what is their unique characteristics, and then the how uh, how they can utilize Alibaba's uh, retail cloud. Um, so uh, there are many many companies are already putting their uh, online platform, for example, membership um, uh, membership websites or e-commerce websites. Uh, on Alibaba Cloud, um, and then the so that they can, they are leveraging the Alibaba Cloud uh, computing power already, and then the there uh, many of the foreign companies are con- are start to connect into the payment uh, infrastructure, um, and then the many companies are also adopting the uh, uh, AI capabilities. For example, image for example image search, so. Um, and then the if you want to know the names, please stay tuned from our uh, official accounts in the social media. Uh, and then the if you have uh, if you're interested, you are more than welcome to join our uh, Vinci conference physically or online, so that you will see more examples of which exact company has adopted uh, retail cloud, or and then how they're adopting retail cloud. And then the, how we have tra- how we have transformed their businesses. Then that's it for the QA session. Hope to see you again uh, in the next few webinars. And then thanks, uh, thank you all for listening today. And then uh, have a good day.